Good evening everyone, I'm Ron and welcome to Shakespeare Analysis News. Tonight, we cover the events of Hamlet, who at the moment has just returned from his banishment to England. We go live to reporter Steve Ronell for an interview with Hamlet regarding his trip. Steve? Thanks Ron. The prince has just returned from his trip to England where he was banished by King Claudius. Hamlet, can you tell us what happened on this trip? Well Steve, we were just chilling on the ship when all of a sudden we were taken over by pirates. But they were pretty cool. We agreed that they would take me into Denmark and I would do something for them. I probably won't end up doing that thing, but whatever. I was also snagging the letter from the king ordering me to get... <laughs> if you know what I mean. Those dinguses, Rosenpants and Gillenstein, they're gonna get it when they get to England. Well, Ron, it looks like the two messengers, Rosenkrantz and Gildenstern, are in for a bit of trouble. Back to you in the studio, Ron. Thanks, Steve. With Rosencrantz and Gildenstern is our reporter, Sam Terry. Sam? Thanks, Ron. I'm with Rosencrantz and Gildenstorm in the Castle Dungeons. They traveled to England to keep an eye out for Hamlet, but now they are just moments away from being executed. Gildenstern, do you, what do you have to say to Hamlet on this issue? I oh, don't you have... I'm Gildenstern, I think. Anyway, I'm not too happy about this. I mean, what did we do to Hamlet to make him want us dead? We were only watching him. But now we are doomed and will probably be hanged within the hour. Well, things don't look too cheery in the castle dungeon. Back to you, Ron. Heads. Thanks, Sam. We now go to our hidden reporter, Ralph Bush, in the bush. Ralph is in the meeting room where Claudius and Laertes are scheming to kill Hamlet. Let's go to him now. We all know you're real good with the sword, so here's what we'll do. We'll challenge him to a fencing match where he will fight you. So, we, so you'll let him hit you once and then take off that rubber thingy at the end of the sword. Get the dude who holds the sword to put this on. And then I'll hit him, and he'll die for sure. But just in case, we need to have backup. I'll offer him a drink, but I'll put these pills in it. He'll be dead, and the kingdom will be out. <laughs> it appears things are not looking good for Hamlet. We've just got word that Ophelia, now to have said to God completely insane, has climbed a tree and is about to fall into the creek. Steve is on the scene to give us live footage. I'm here by the tree where the maiden Ophelia is up in the tree, where she appears to be frying eggs and singing jingle bells. One might say the cheese has finally slipped off the cracker with this one. Many in the castle believe she has gone com completely crazy in the head after Hamlet told her he didn't love her anymore. The queen tried to talk to her, but no one can seem to get her to get back to reality. Back to you, Ron. Thanks, Steve. More on the story of Hamlet and the action in Denmark after this commercial break. Shakespeare Analysis News. We've just got word that Ophelia has fallen out of the tree and into the water below. Unfortunately, she was sucked down because of her large dress and drowned. In other news, Hamlet and Laertes will begin their official fencing match this afternoon. We go now to Sam Terry for a short interview with the participants. 
I'm here with Hamlet to discuss his predictions on how this event will play out. Hamlet, do you think you can beat Laertes? Oh yeah, I got this in the bag. He's not all he says. I can catch him by surprise. He won't know what hit him. It's all fun, of course, so I won't make a huge deal of it. And Laertes, how do you think this duel will go? Will your reputation be upheld? Well, first I'll stab him, and then I'll poison him with those pills, and when he's dead, the kingdom will be ours. It would appear that there is more to this fencing match than meets the eye, and things are more than likely to get ugly. This is it, folks. The fencing duel between Prince Hamlet and Laertes is about to begin. The two have got in their starting positions, and there's the start signal. And Hamlet gets the first hit. But wait, Laertes has removed his foil tip and put poison on the blade. He rushes Hamlet and hits him on the arm. And yes, yes, there is blood. The queen is standing. She takes the cup from Claudius in, in, in a toast to Hamlet's victory, and she puts it back. And she's dead! And it appears that everyone is dead. This is a Shakespeare story, folks. Back to you, Ron. Well, in typical Shakespeare fashion, everyone has died tragically. And that's all we have for you tonight. Make sure to tune in tomorrow for more coverage on the most recent news in Shakespeare action.